Look what I did yesterday while I was reversing down the track. I managed to rip my exhaust off. That's right, I managed to rip my exhaust off. So I've dropped my car off and Simon's picked me up from the garage and now we're going to another Wixies because they've got an offer on the paint that I've been painting the stable with. Colour shall I have? I think I'll have the pink one. There were little ducks for sale as well. farmer's here and he's just told me about the natural spring. Do you remember when I found that concrete water filled area behind our field which is about I don't know about four or five foot away from our actual field. Well the farmer's here and he's just told me that it's naturally spring fed and that it's been overflown because it's all blocked up. So that's why it's been so wet and muddy down here and he's come down to clear the blockage out with the tractor. Hello cow. Good girl. 
Good girl. Be free. See you later. Morning, Tobe. I've just driven down the hill and hope standing up. Toby's standing up. I've been bibbing the horn because they usually all come running. But dream is flat out. I'm just hoping he's okay. Because the last time I turned up to a pony that was flat out like this, he was bloody dead. So now I'm running. Oh my gosh, I thought you were dead! Oh, stupid little boy. Oh, I have been bibbing the horn to you. Why did you do not get up? Silly boy. Come on, come with me. Oh my gosh. I did not need that stress this morning. A couple of years ago, when Bruce's pony died, that's exactly what he bloody well looked like. Oh, see us. So the lovely guys at TLC have made me a custom exhaust, which is fantastic of them. Thank you so much. It was going to cost £600 to have a Honda exhaust put on. I haven't got 600 pence at the minute. So what they've done is built me a really skinny exhaust that you can't even hardly see now. Looks like I haven't got one. And that should stop me scraping it all the way along the floor on the way down the track. It's already covered in mud though. 